Nadia Jalasi's sculptures got her in trouble. One of the three is still missing after protesters attacked an art exhibition outside Tunis for supposedly offending Islam. The three models were surrounded by a circle of stones covered with newspaper. Jalassi left it up to the public to interpret her work. But the most obvious interpretation is of women being stoned to death. Religious extremists have since launched a vitriolic campaign against Jalassi and other artists in the exhibition. Some received death threats. Tunisia's judiciary has also taken up the case. When I presented myself before the investigating judge, he accused me of exhibiting images that disturbed public order. Jalassi may face trial, but she is hardly the only creator under fire. Protesters attacked the U.S. Embassy in Tunis, enraged over a crude, privately made video produced in the U.S. that denigrates the Prophet Muhammad. Islamists have previously targeted other controversial films aired here. Rights activists like Mokhtar Trifi fear the ruling Islamist party, Al Nahda, may capitalize on the anger to pass a blasphemy law. Draft legislation aims to criminalize offenses against so-called sacred values. They want to show they are the defenders of Islam. I say it's for electoral goals. More broadly, activists say free expression, a cornerstone of Tunisia's revolution, is under threat. Some Tunisian media are protesting government-appointed bosses, a standard practice under former dictator Zine al Abidine Ben Ali. They are using the same methods as before to control the organs of public information. The government rejects such accusations, but El Nahda leader Rashid Ghanoushi says Tunisia must strike a balance. <laughs> We are for free expression and creativity, but we can only live in peace as a society if we respect others' beliefs. Khanushi says it's fine to produce art that criticizes Islam, so long as it's what he calls serious art. He considers Jalassi's work a deliberate provocation. Jalassi is waiting for the day she is out of the public spotlight. That does not seem likely anytime soon. Lisa Bryant for VOA News, Tunis.